Welcome back to 4 Geeks by Geeks, the place where geeks come to geek out and burp out. And this is episode 18 of Cloudscape. I'm surprised I've made it this far. I'm surprised I've made it this far. I'm also surprised you've made it this far. And I don't mean the plot. I don't mean the plot line. We know. <laughs> we know. I'm surprised I'm here. <laughs> We're also surprised. I'm surprised oh. any of you at home have made it this far. And if you've made it this far, you are kings and queens among us. Thanks, Farls. <laughs> <laughs> you are all one of you, king and queen. How you guys doing today? We've got a full table. I slept good three hours. Again. I am going to be on one today, so good luck, guys. I'm here to cause problems. What was last week's excuse, then? <laughs> oh. And the week before? I am awkwardly energized at the moment, so good luck. Oh, God. Oh, God. Perfect. That's the perfect level we need you at. We need you at your, your highest game performance today. No, we're we're going to be getting a performance. big day today. We need manic big only ADHD. performance. Big night tonight? Oh. <clears throat> yes, Theo's got a big night tonight. And I, I want to launch right into it so if you are just joining us and you have never seen cloudscape guess what there are 17 episodes for you to catch up on or you can just jump in on this one and figure it out because i am bozer i'm brett i'm josh i'm lucas i'm austin i'm t I and now t can't say that we did not introduce the beginning ourselves. Of an episode. it was so out of order i don't understand why you keep fucking up the flow of the we've been doing this show <laughs> for so goddamn long we have a li literal script and you're like yeah fuck that we don't do that here but when we i do not have a literal when, script when i fuck up the intro script. i'm the if, problem if there is a script i have not seen it are there lines <laughs> for this what yeah. do you think i do during the week you think i work no i write out our show i like the idea just that doesn't like, send it to anyone my lines no. are just like broods in the corner that's literally all it is <laughs> okay good okay does I, austin things <laughs> but we've got potentially a big <laughs> night ahead of us are you guys ready oh. i'm so ready to for the on. we've been teasing you two dating for so <laughs> long and i'm really excited to see i am so ready for theo's date <laughs> <laughs> It's going to be, is it chaos or okay. chaos? Mine just oh, says okay. I'm so horny oh, for this oh, over oh. and over, and I'm not sure <laughs> why. It's just that for like three pages. Listen, you made three horny comments last episode, so it's. <laughs> Guys, wait, no, I think it's my line next. One second. Uh, whole grain rolled oats, uh, sugar and uh, golden uh, sugar. Uh, I... Hold on, I gotta find the right one. I gotta find the right one. All of my writings are. Mine just says show up. <laughs> <laughs> Andy showed up on time, so progress. Hey. Well, um, on that scripted note, let's jump into today's episode of uh, Cloudscape. Two dates for Theo, one with Molly, the forensic tech from the Citadel, and the other with Retta Cawthon, the journalist who broke the news on the fight ring by the arch luminary of engineering and the fact that Alden Gold had been murdered. She named na -na -na. names na -na -na. and now she's expecting to discuss the repayment where Theo promised to get her the arch luminary of intelligence position. So curious to see how that's going to work out. Um, Y'all made a literal Modeling. schedule after, <laughs> after Sirkin received a phone call from Haven, kind of forwarding the timeline, expecting answers in the next 24 hours, but you had answers ready sooner. So <laughs> you guys made a schedule that you were gonna pick up Molly at seven, Reddit was gonna meet at eight, both of which were going to happen at the Gold's Bar 
experience the club with the casino underneath. So that should be fun. And then Tobias is expecting to meet Kit at 10. And then a trade of Tobias for Nan is supposed to happen at 1 p.m. in the greenhouses. Calls were made to the Citadel. Uh, Commander Orin specifically letting him know that something might go down and not to get involved. Uh, otherwise, it may become war in the streets. And then there was talk of giving Vox a call to involve the Knights of Axiom. But while all that was happening, Mr. L, earlier today in this canon of a day, you witnessed... <clears throat> um, the ending of the life of one of your oldest friends, Glass, after they attempted an assassination on Theo while you were present. And as the light guard were rolling up, you took off. Do you want to quickly give <clears throat> us a, a little recap of what your days look like so far? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm... I'm just a little... I'm shaken. Um... I knew this is like I'm not a stranger to this being, you know, the game that's played. But I think Al's just walking the the old streets, the old neighborhoods, and kind of reflecting on how life got here. And so they, I, I'm, I'm, I'm and kind of I'm just kind of battling the, you know, the history I had with glass, and then. You know, coming to terms with uh, the fact that one of my oldest friends is is dead, and not not to you know be angry with with Theo about it because it, ultimately it, I mean, he did try to kill us, but then just to think that like my my old friend tried to kill me. And how the re like the reach is acting and and whatnot, and how I used to be such a a, a that used to be such a big influence in my life, and now I like I already stepped away from it, but at the same time, I kind of got pulled into it again with that. And I I just I'm open around the city right now trying to collect my thoughts so where where are the old neighborhoods for Alsvid? um I'm, I'm looking back towards like in the, the same kind of area as where the the reach is based at um i'm a, you know okay some of the, some of the, the older buildings you know f being free and being able to go through some of these like somewhat abandoned buildings and get remember like certain little jobs i used to do with the reach when we were like still young guys and just kind of reflecting over just bullshitting with glass and thinking of trying to think of the good times before it got so politicized and so messed up um would you pass by the like how close would you get to the headquarters i, I don't think i'm going to end up getting it, maybe a, a block or two, but I'm not. I'm not trying to make my presence known. I'm trying to just stay in the shadows, stay kind of secluded by myself. Just trying to get that big emotional, mental just sigh of like relief, um, and come to terms with the fact that like, hey. This world is going to get really like, it's a crazy world, but it, that's really rocking my world right now. Um, while you're walking around the city, reflecting, roll a perception check for me. Uh, what do I have with this? You know, if I, oh, okay, that's good. Uh, cancels. That's a four. Oh, wow. Okay. So as you're walking, in, like trying to stick to the shadows, you're kind of ambling through the alleyways. Um, around the corner in, a, in another alley, you hear the sound of a scuffle. 
um, sound of body blows and uh, it, it, a voice like calling out to stop and asking for help. Yeah, I'll, I'm going to, I'm going to first peek in and see what's happening. Is it just like a one-on-one -on -one fight? Is it? Yeah. So with the four, you peek around the corner and you see there is a, a taller individual female, but like pretty jacked. She's wearing a tank top, um, kind of longer hair pulled back in two little ponytails, strangely enough, going down her back. Um, and you can see on one hand with a four, the iconic Sigurd's Reach rings as those rings are pounding into the body of the smaller individual. Oh, God. Um, I might get my ass beat, but let's do this. <laughs> Look, looking out for the little guy, right? Um, I know. If you didn't go, I was going to add a complication and force you to go. <laughs> I'm going to... I'll run down there What the fuck? Hey, not you're like fucking twice the size of this. Uh, what are you fucking doing? And I'm just like jogging down there. I'm not sprinting, but I'm I'm getting to him. And she lands one more body blow and looks up, um, and she's about to like yell at you and takes a double take. Ow, ow! What the fuck? Where have you been? Like, now's not the time. This guy, the golds want him roughed around. The golds get him roughed around. Like, we don't ask questions. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, um, here's the thing. You, you're, you've done your, what needs to be fucking done, all right? You don't got to take this too fucking far. Buddy, you just walked in on this. You've been in and out. Like, <laughs> you don't get to tell us what to do. At this point, you're hardly a Sigurd's reach. Yeah, well... I'll take the old reach over this bullshit right now. All right, you you did you roughed him up. He get the fucking message now. Get the fuck away. It uh, kind of sounds like she's cracking her neck. You're against what we're going for, Mister Alsvid. Well, you know, if you weren't just a peon, you'd probably understand. There's a lot more going on. Then you really understand. Yeah, you fucking Tim. <laughs> Goddamn Tims. She's like, listen, I ain't no Tim, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I moved up. I'm on third floor, bitch. I'm Timmy. Name's Deuces. <laughs> and she like knucks her her knucks her knucks together. <laughs> That's a thing. Nailed it. Hell yeah. Dude. Nailed Got it. in one. Classic maneuver. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's roughed up. He got the fucking message. I'm... Just stop. You know what? You don't need to take it too fucking far. Glass was right about you. Well, he paid his price, and hopefully, one of these days, I'm gonna. This will keep you from fucking paying that price. Wait, what the fuck? As she like turns completely away from the person who's now like collecting themselves and shambles like out of the alley and takes off and she doesn't even care. She just lets it, lets him run. I'm like, what are you talking about, Al? I'm like, dude, like I'm sitting here that just his blind fucking faith in this bullshit got his ass fucking killed. And it could happen to any one of you guys just blindly following this, the gold family, basically, because the reach isn't independent anymore. You're just a fucking tool. And when they break a tool, they don't fucking fix it. They throw it away. And they get a new one. What'd you do to Glass, Al? I did nothing. His fucking choices got his ass killed. 
He's gone. Done. And it could happen to you. If you just sit here and blindly follow these motherfuckers, you'll get sent out on a job one day, and maybe that guy had a gun, and then blew your fucking brains out in this alleyway. You don't know. You don't know what could happen. And she, like, steps up to you and gets real close to your no nose to nose. You don't get to talk about the Reach. As far as I'm concerned, you are no longer Reach. The Reach is a life. The Reach is a family. And you dipped. That's probably why Glass got killed. If you'd have been there, if you'd have had his back. And she just like shoves you in the chest and starts like backing out of the alley. Shoot her. Shoot her. It'll help us long term. Do you still have my gun? <laughs> Listen. There's nothing I could have done to save him. There's nothing... I can do to save you when it comes down to your fucking time. Only you can make the choice to sit there and realize what danger you're putting yourself in. This used to be an, like an honorable place. And now all this shady shit is happening. And I, yeah, I'm not a part of I No, I refuse to be a pawn in someone's fucking game. I used to be here for the community. And for the betterment of the community. And now you guys are just fucking thugs. Just taking what you want, doing what you want because you have the gold family's fucking support. No. No, we used to care about people. And now we just handle business. I'm not. No. Thanks for the after school special, asshole. <laughs> Anybody else really attracted to Al right now? <laughs> no. You're fine. You're, you're welcome. You know, I, I really hope you don't end up in a fucking alleyway somewhere. And she's at the end of the alley now. And she She's like pulling out her phone. And as she's putting up to her, her ear, she just looks at you and she goes, You know what? I hope one day. We run into each other in another alley. I and really like, hope. Dips off. I'm sorry. She thought that was a great line. That's embarrassing. She thought <laughs> 20 bucks is 20 bucks, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where are you headed now, Al? Um, I'm probably going to skirt my way... Um, out of out of here um uh and i'm after that interaction i'm, I'm definitely going to keep a keep an eye out for like a tail or you know just going to be a little more aware of what's going on because again i can't i don't know who to trust anymore like i just, just in all reality up from in all reality like like theo and i are cool but at the same time I don't know what he's got going on in his head, so I'm second guessing that relationship as well. It's probably a safe bet. So I'm, <laughs> I'm in kind of a, I'm not, I wouldn't say fight or flight like survival mode, but I'm definitely like trying to Flapping be super aware. Memes. So what would Al do? And you don't need to tell me specifically, but generally, like, what would you do over the next? 12 hours <laughs> <laughs> you know just an um, arbitrary number i'd probably like, what go... would your plan be just to keep laying low and <sighs> i think i'm gonna yeah lay low i'll head back to like one of my little storage areas you know from from my smuggling okay. stuff and i'm just gonna uh have a have a moment and maybe probably take a nap because your, your boy is, is stressing out and just needs to like have that decompression. Um, 
look through like old sure. photos, stuff like that. Some self care stuff. We're doing some self care today. Look at this photograph. <sighs> look at this graph. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so back at Sirkin's house, um, y'all made a plan. We're going to, if it's okay with everybody, do a little bit of a time jump to, unless anybody has anything specific you want to do. I don't know. We can't go too fast. We've got a pretty <laughs> consistent pace going. I don't know if I feel comfortable <laughs> skipping a couple hours. Listeners are going to get whiplash. Yikes. Honestly, we're going to advance a day. I don't think they're prepared for that. <laughs> not even a day. No, like not a day. Four just, hours. Just a few hours. I'm going to drag out this first date for so <laughs> long. It's going to happen in real time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then um, it's probably about 6.30. Aurora standard time. <laughs> uh, T... Or Theo, what did you do to prepare? Like, what, how do you, what's your like montage of getting ready? Uh, you have cue cards? No. No, I take <laughs> that back. Theo 100% has cue cards. <laughs> <laughs> he has an app on his phone where he has to live like, not like in depth details of all of his partners, but like a general overview of his partners so he doesn't overlap their interests. <laughs> you gotta roll it down. Heaven forbid. You got the uh, Michael Scott Rolodex. Listen, Theo's got a lot going on. He does it out of respect, not misogyny. He wants to make sure. Out of respect. Listen, he, Theo does not make it. <laughs> Theo does not make any of his dates believe that they are monogamous. If there is any a gentleman, if there's any belief, that's on their end, not Theo's. They know Theo's a whore. <sighs> Oh, man, it's one for date. You're not dating. It's a date. You can. I'm gonna be honest. I completely day. lost my train of thought. What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> What's your getting ready montage? <laughs> oh, okay, gotcha. Um, so Theo is already dressed up in clothes that were not his, but seemed to fit perfectly. Um, Courtesy I, of Brunch Tuffley. Br <laughs> 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 Fucking Brunch Tuffley. Uh, well, first, uh, Theo has to go get some cufflinks to cover up the, uh, what was it, knife stab wounds? Um, yeah, there's two in the holes. drill holes. <laughs> drill holes, that's what it was. Mm -hmm. uh, but in a very rare circumstance, uh, Theo is strapped because obviously a lot of shit's going on. Um, so he's got both a gun and a knife on him. Uh, but more importantly, uh, he's got his little uh, amateur magic set up. So he's got fake flowers stuffed into his sleeve for his date. <laughs> nice. Uh, you know, just typical date protocol. Uh, he's more worried about making sure that everybody is aware of what's going on tonight, including all of his uh, newly employed staff members. Okay. Denton and... What's his face? Uh, let's see. We've got Denton and Torek. Um, Torek, that's the brothers, yeah. yeah. Denton so, are would they probably... Still... I think Denton would drive Theo. Torek would go... Would drive Sirkin. And then the other three are already... Probably working with Sirkin to get set up for the evening. Is I've that where the three of you are going? You're going to the conservatory or in in the greenhouses? I'm staying with Theo. Okay. Oh, because yeah, you shaved as a bodyguard. Yeah, yeah. I shaved. I got a, I got my old suit on. Got my old rings on. But uh, I got gloves to cover up so you can't tell that my one hand is missing. Yeah, Sirkin is not sadly not going to be a part of the date, and by sadly I mean thankfully not a part of these date sequences. <laughs> T is torn. T wants Sirkin to be there. Theo is fucking relieved that Sirkin is not going to be there. <laughs> and Kit, where are you going to be? Uh, I don't really think we established where I was going to be. I know that I have to go pick up with my dad at 10 because i know where he is but other than that i, I think wasn't we sure stay together split the party split the party let's drag okay. this half now, a day we're, out for four episodes as as 
with the plan, I as I understand it, we are all headed to the beginning of the day at seven. The seven when they go to pick up Molly, we're gonna go to outside the club to make sure there's no one waiting for them when they get in. We're covering your guys' entrance, right? But can Sirkin go there in the car at this? Okay, so Sirkin staying in the car though is the question. We can do this in character. Yeah. <laughs> oh, can we? We don't need to meta game this. <laughs> Let's cause problems. Mm -hmm. uh, Sir, can you know I say this with a minuscule amount of respect? Um, you can't show your face. Ever? At the bare minimum tonight. For the next hour, they can you can't be anywhere on Gold's turf. Hmm. I can make it look a little different. She cracks her knuckles. <laughs> There's a mask. You could wear. Hey, remember that conversation we had two hours ago about letting things go? I'm joking. I'm giving some comedic relief. Joke off them from a place of truth. You get to punch his dick afterwards. We've already <laughs> planned this all out. I forgot oh, I yeah. said that. I forgot <laughs> I said that. Punch him in the ball sack. Jeez. It was aggressive. <laughs> but I understood. I'll show um, you a speed bag. I suppose there's no time for Truman to make me a mask. Oh, well. I mean, he might have one. You want me to <laughs> call him? No, we'll be fine. Hold the on, pause. Simple. You're really going to sit here and tell me you don't have a mask? I have masks. That's what I thought. Moving on. Would you like to go back to the room? No, because there's certain demons I know exist in my closet that I don't want to realize are you. I feel like Sirkin has like a like a Richard Nixon mask. <laughs> like <a rubber>. <laughs> <laughs> what is this for? Role play. <laughs> I I was but waiting instead of for Richard something. Nixon, I was waiting for something else. It, it would have been the previous King Hamlin. Richard yeah. Richard Dumbass or whatever? <laughs> and Dumas. The, uh, Dumas. Dumas. Oh. Dumas. I've reconstructed Praxis his face Dumas. from other faces. On that note, face. I think it's time to head out on <clears throat> our Agreed. excursions. I believe if we take the car and we wait out front, we can cover your entrance. I'll call you if I see anything suspicious. Noted. Uh, you can have Torek drive you. We'll have Denton take us. And then we're going to pray that tonight goes smoothly. Cool. And uh, like for optics, I'm going to just like act like a regular security detail. Like I'll open the door for him, you know, and then walk around the car and and sit uh, in the passenger seat. That's a great idea. Kit should also be my security detail. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> <laughs> oh, someone's shooting at you! Oh, I feel it! Oh, get behind cover! Shoves him away from the car. Is that Pogo or is that somebody else's dog? <laughs> oh, that's that's my dog. <laughs> Just singing in the morning. Does Bear need to go out, Lucas? I think he's tired of being stuck in this room. He's not love me anymore. Uh, more, more dad. All right, so I'm sorry, Pogo is distracting the shit out of me. <laughs> I've got about two activated neurons at the moment. I'm trying <laughs> so hard right now. <laughs> All right, so you're getting in the car and you're headed to pick up Molly with Denton driving and Torix driving. Where's other this city. other car coming from? I'm assuming Sirkin has a car, to be honest. He Not had my up. car. It blew up. All right, then Theo will call a guy. Come on, guys. Let's roll connections. Do I have a car guy? Do I have a roll car guy? That's a six. Do I have a car guy? <laughs> <laughs> How many car guys? <laughs> With a six, I feel like I have a few. What do you guys want to drive? <laughs> yes, you have a car guy. And by that, I just mean, I think I just call a car service. I Uber. Um. <laughs> yeah, with with a six, 
you you roll like uh you really roll like at a car rental kind of place and um because it's you that they remember something kind that you did like one time you stole a car away from an ongoing crime scene and okay. donated it to this place and so they're like oh yeah you can take that one <laughs> yeah yeah uh if actually if theo does ask us if we want a specific kind of car I mm -hmm. request the car that uh, Kit and her father were rebuilding in the garage that she smashed. That's a little specific, and I don't think I have the juice to make that I'm, happen. This I'm sure. I, I'm sure time. it's a not a rare kind of car. I'm just. I don't want to go through the process of naming a make and model of fake cars, so I just give you the make and model of a car I want. <laughs> and so you don't know, but Kit knows. I just want a McLaren. That's not a big deal. Uh, the guy on the phone is like, uh, he, yeah, the, the best I got is, is a black big SUV is paper. perfectly fine. <laughs> yeah, it's not black, but whatever. I'll, I'll send I'll send something over. Does it have bulletproof windows? I'm sorry. Nothing. <laughs> just curiosity. It's just sometimes it gets really dangerous out there. And I like to be uh, just as safe as possible. Theo, you're saying the quiet part loud again. Oh, whoops. This car is coming back to me in one piece. For sure. Yes. You have insurance, right? Um, you'll have insurance if you get the renter insurance. Yeah, of course. Like, I'm, I'm giving it to you as a loan or as a favor, but if it gets damaged, like, buddy, that's coming out of your pocketbook. Just You should absolutely that. get the renter's insurance if they offer it, Theo. Oh, guys, I am well aware of how this process works. You know, I can just fix it if shit happens, right? Yeah, see, I, I know a guy. It's fine. Yeah, just send that over. Here's the address. I'm just going to note down. <laughs> to charge. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> It'll be over in 20. Thank you. So, a few minutes later. Oh, sorry. Are you doing something for. Oh, no, I was just going to start the conversation of getting in the cars and parting ways. To return right. so back together in four a, and a half episodes. A few a few minutes later, um, this hot pink <laughs> SUV Hell yes. rolls up. <clears throat> I'm so happy right now. Wait, who wants this one? Because I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, this is our car. Damn it. For Rock, sure, paper, scissors. This is our car. Rochambeau. <clears throat> Rochambeau. But Rochambeau, Isn't for certain, is actually pulling involved? out a knife, a gun, and a mace. <laughs> right. It's oh, I thought this... Rochambeau was when you kick each other in the balls until one of you give up. What? That's what it is on South Park. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what it was growing up. You say Rochambeau, what? I'll go first. <laughs> I'm glad Austin's with up. me because I'm at an absolute loss right now. <laughs> okay, so okay. who's getting in the pink car? Theo will give the pink car to Sirkin. It matches Hot. his personality better. Thank you. <laughs> so Torek is driving you in the pink car, and Denton is driving you two in the big black. Yep. Kid, are okay. you with me? Are you coming? Are you riding along? Are we sticking together? Unfortunately. Hell yeah. And as she hops in the car, she pulls out a beanie and stuffs her hair up into the beanie. She goes, okay. I don't want to stick out like a sore thumb wise decision theo looks around at like the rest of us and then just gets in the suv <laughs> Sir, are you doing anything just we'll remain in subtle theo role plays the theo stands outside the door and waits for the door to be opened <laughs> <laughs> and and denton who's already in the front oh he gets out <laughs> <laughs> sorry is this is this what you want no, Mr. that was for Wayland. It does. Yeah. Uh, just get, I, I it's, do okay. It. Oh, oh it, there's like an awkward get, moment where like he's like, <laughs> get back in the car. <laughs> get back in the car. Oh, okay. I'll just, I'll just try. I take off my glove and I slap him. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you actually where to, Mister Theo? <laughs> uh, we need to go pick up uh, Molly, so we're gonna start there. So Molly lives. Um, 
in uh, not like the nice part of the Prism District, but uh, in the apartment buildings, like middle class area of the apartment buildings. And so yeah, you drive through the city. Employee. Mm -hmm. um, and you roll up to the apartment. Uh, Theo is going to, does she, can I walk into the apartment or is it going to be like, I have to buzz in? It's a buzzer. All right. I have you been here before? Yeah. I'm trying to yeah, set yeah. up our connection for <laughs> our viewership. I'm trying to set no, the I'm just, scene. I'm asking so I understand. Okay. Oh, yeah. Molly's dirt. Yeah. He's been at Molly's. Okay. So you buzz. Um, and it's like 659. And you hear on the other line. Gotta say, thought you're gonna be way later. I'm Early's impressed. Early. You gonna let me up? Oh, you want to come up here first? Of course. Okay, but like I said, you're not getting out of this dinner. I've been starving no, we... myself all day, and I'm can't wait to. <laughs> That's up not the healthy. I thought we went to a therapist to work on this. Jesus. Get your ass up here. <laughs> and as you know, you you traipse up the couple flights of stairs. What do I have to roll and for magic? <laughs> <laughs> um, Is there like a perfect... um, either burglary. sleight of hand, burglary or deception? Yeah. I'll do either one of those. I feel like sleight of hand could work too. Deception. We don't have a. Uh, so my plan is, in... I'm going to knock oh, on yeah, the door, fate. and as she opens it, I want to appear in a cloud of smoke, and then I want to pull the flowers out of my sleeve. <laughs> You're telling me this guy fucks? <laughs> I, don't buy it. I was like, what girl would be like? Oh my god, he's what? so dreamy. I'd be like, what straight the up, fuck did I walk she into? Straight up answers in a towel and drops it. <laughs> Listen, he comes, that's he, how good it is. Don't smoke. disrespect like, Theo's charm. Uh, I'm, on, I'm on Theo's side. This is hot. <laughs> For that, roll, roll rapport or charisma. Because it's not how well you do it. It's how well it's going to be received. It's how well Theo does it. Uh, that's a oh, horror. Yeah. Man. <laughs> oh, so, so she horrific. opens the door. And... <laughs> And what you would no normally, you've seen her like in a, a different diff couple settings. You've met for coffee in the past. You've had dinner. You've gone on a few dates. Um, you can tell that she she tried a little extra tonight. Um, as much shit as she gives you, she really wants to impress tonight. Um, she's got her hair just kind of quaffed off to one side um, in this little crop top and a little mini skirt. Um, and some boots, tall boots. She's normally much shorter Barely. than you, but the boots bring her up to about your height. And you meet her in a cloud of smoke <laughs> and some flowers. <laughs> Plastic how, flowers. How does my four work? Like how how does she how does she take it? She opens the door. She and screams <laughs> and runs away. <laughs> You terrified her. <laughs> and at first she like raises an eyebrow and then a smirk. She's like, damn these kinks of mine. <laughs> <laughs> I, got I always wanted to be with a clown. Oh. Yeah, that's it. That's, <laughs> that, that, that's the only way it works. <laughs> Put the nose on. She her aspect is wet for close up magic. Is that... <laughs> is, that it is, no, it is. is that her high concept? Her high concept. For those of you who don't know what fate is, your high concept is like your character in general. Like, boiled down to a sentence. And then aspects are, like, defining... I'm so sorry I started this. That you I started this? What do you mean? I knew what I was oh. doing. You guys are talking over... 
Wayland defining some rules, which is very They're important. Made. It's 18 episodes in. If they cared to know, they would know by now. <laughs> but I we don't often talk sure about it. Landed. Got a new yeah. high concept now. It's not her high concept. It's her trouble. Uh, obviously, it's her trouble. <laughs> For sure, obviously, trouble. Obviously, it's her trouble. Obviously. If it's not, I will spend a fate point to make sure of it. <laughs> you think Theo didn't talk to, a th talk to her therapist before this? Come on, guys. I love the idea that That's like HIPAA! <laughs> HIPAA! <laughs> Hey, 20 bucks is 20 bucks. Student I, I loans are expensive. the idea that she goes to a bar and it just so happens that there's like a magician just like working tables. You know, just like get you like for tips. And she's just like, oh my god, not now. And she's like, <laughs> like her mom. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Gripping her table at Cloud Applebee's. <laughs> <laughs> Cloud so Applebee's. Don't come near me. <laughs> Cloud Applebee's. <laughs> Aren't you glad you came back, Lucas? No. Guys, oh my god, why are we why do we do this? Why do we start this? Why does this happen? I, I couldn't even write her, her card through the tears. Oh my goodness. So you you pull out the flowers and and you see her like kind of grip the door a little harder. <laughs> She breathes through it and grabs the plastic flowers out of your hands. <laughs> Would you like to come in for a drink? Uh, we have a uh, bit of a timetable. I just wanted to make sure I could walk you down. Oh, we have reservations? We do. Well, let me grab my purse. And she you just steps that. out of the doorway. Grabs her purse. There's no money in this, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Lipstick only. And gives, right. And gives you a little pat on the cheek. And she walks ahead of you. And you can see, like, you know. Theo trips. She's sauntering a little bit. Theo trips. Theo trips. <laughs> Over his jaw. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> and she, you head down. I need to hold on. I need to roll for charisma to see if I play that off, or deception to see if I play that. I don't play that off. You literally trip. That wasn't colorful language. Oh Nobody my god! Tripped. Like turns back and like in like the sexiness sees you trip and like the real like human normal Molly comes out. It's like oh my god, dear, are you okay? And, like she comes out. <laughs> I knew I was falling well, for you, but damn. Oh, don't you start. <laughs> I've been waiting for this moment to happen between Bozer and T for oh. such a very long time that I'm sitting here like. <laughs> for us. I'm really. Happy she helps you up and then quickly just like walks down the stairs, the two flights, oh, and no, stares. One hundred percent gets a door. kiss as she helps him up. Oh, no, not this time, not yet. Work harder. And she's waiting at the front door. Inside Theo opens it for her. Hmm, good boy. And exits. They opens the car door. <laughs> yeah, you guys would well actually you guys would see me waiting outside the car. That's true. Standing in front, and I'd have the door open already for you guys to get in. Oh, what is this? Stay and nice. she walks past and she stops at you, Wayland. Whatever he's paying you, it's not enough. <laughs> and he gets in. Thank you, ma'am. Please enjoy your evening. As the door gets shut, you get paid enough. <laughs> <laughs> Just to reiterate, I get paid nothing, right? You're getting paid? <laughs> <laughs> to clarify, Theo for sure pays Waylon for his services. <laughs> 20 okay. bucks is 20 bucks. We'll keep that in mind next time you roll resources. So where are we headed? Where's our reservation? Where's our reservation? <laughs> experience. Uh, experience. Oh, you know, I have never been. You, you don't say. You know, I think I recall you saying that. 
Wow. And she like pats Wayland on the shoulder. Do you hear that? He listens. Do you hear that? Could have fooled me. <laughs> <laughs> and so Denton takes you through the city. Um, and, and while you're driving, she kind of reaches her hand towards the middle and just like leaves it in the middle of the, the oh, no, Theo holds her hand for sure. Uh, I gotta say, <coughs> as I was getting ready, looking way too damn hot for this. Correct. Uh, I kept wrestling because I was sure That's and my weird. girlfriend was sure. <laughs> Stop. My girlfriend was kept telling me that you weren't going to show, you were going to cancel, you were going to be late, and I was you get, banging my head against the wall. It was a case. It doesn't count. One, one time. One time. Do you hear that? He says one time. One time. <laughs> Roll for gaslighting? I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I just want to say how much it means that you're actually here and on time. And I'm excited to see where this goes. Well, I was excited to see you. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. It's been three days, Theo. That's a long time. The car rolls up. And at this point of the night, it's like, you know, it's close after seven so the club isn't really popping it's not like a huge line outside yet that's much later um but there are a couple doormen standing outside and so the car rolls up right to the front door gold ties gold ties good and she's waiting inside <clears throat> the car <clears throat> Oh, yeah. I'll pop up. I'll open the doors. Oh, thank you. How unexpected. <laughs> yeah, I'll do the classic, like, hand thing as well. To, like, so she can, like, pull herself out. Damn, now I'm and as she like, steps out, Jesus. <laughs> there's, like, huge uplighting. There's, <laughs> like, these, <laughs> there's, like, these um, big spotlight on the outside that are shimmering up so that especially as it gets darker no matter where you are in the city if you're up above you can see where experience is um and it's just um, south of the seat of the shining sun almost like directly south and yeah and there's two bouncers right outside uh, and as you're approaching can I get an insight check? I want to see if they respond to seeing Theo at all. Sure. Roll, um, yeah, roll in perception or notice. Was notice replaced with something? Was re notice placed with insight? No. I have notice is the fate term. Sheet. Notice is the fate term. Perception is what we've been calling it for consistency's sake amongst the players. I don't have notice at all okay then it's a mediocre <laughs> uh then that's just gonna be a two um uh, yeah like you, you see them they're two big men they, they kind of look very similar um one's a little darker skinned but they both are kind of shaven heads gold ties suits and it, it's almost as if they're meant to just not alarm, not show any <coughs> sort of animation. They're just like checking IDs. They're um, you notice, you do notice that they are patting some people down. Okay, but you don't see them like make any direct eye contact, like touch a walkie whenever when you come. Uh, but as you approach, go ahead. As you approach, um. They, they kind of give you an up-down. Uh, any weapons? Nope. Date night. Mind if we check? Roll charisma. Um, roll deception. Since that was a lie. It's a five. <laughs> Damn it. 
<laughs> um, and when they say date night, they both are like looking up Molly up and down, and I am well aware she's out of my league. You got that right, and they just like wave you in. Uh, Theo is going to do Very the nice. polite, slightly behind her hand or on the middle of her back, walking with her. Nice. So as you walk in, um, it's of course darker. There's there's colorful lighting everywhere, but it's not like at this point. It's kind of a smoother um, jazz. There's a, a, a jazz. Yeah, there's actually a, a five piece band on a stage, um, but Name there are like can't be current ones. Nope. <laughs> Use your imagination, folks. <laughs> Whatever jazz sounds like 150 years later removed from <laughs> any jazz preceding it because people uh, don't really know what it used to sound like as much for reasons. Um, and so there's a hostess and she's like, uh, do you have a reservation? Uh, Theo slides or shakes her hand with money in hand and says yes. How much? A twenty. Okay. 20 bucks, Whatever 20 currency bucks. we use, I don't know. Credits. Yeah, numbers are still numbers, but they're just credits. So you slip for twenty credits and <laughs> roll burglary like a sleight of hand just to see if how well you stealthfully. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> That's two minus one uh, plus zero, so one. <laughs> it's not negative. I got, right. I got real scared because yeah. the, the minus came out first. I was like, <gasps> all right, so you palm her 20 credits and and she she doesn't really acknowledge it. And she just like looks down at a book. Um, oh, yes. Professional. Uh, right this way. She takes you to uh on the there's there's two floors and she takes you st to the main floor um there's a large dance hall upstairs you want to upstairs yeah. theo needs to be aware of his surroundings so as she's taking you to a booth what do you say on the main floor i apologize i thought i'd set a reservation for upstairs oh my apologies i must have misread that that's all right i'll make <laughs> sure to thank you adequately by the end of the evening be sure that you do and takes you around the corner and up the stairs and up the stairs there are closer to like the railing of uh, some tall boys like high boy tabletop small ones that you could stand at but along the edge there's also some uh there's some booths so she escorts you to an empty one and is this suitable for you too this is incredible thank you all right and she steps away. You guys and Molly slides in. Theo sits across from her because people that sit on the same side are fucking weird. <laughs> That's why I sit and, at a uh, bar rail, and then it's not weird. Waylon Waylon goes, "Ugh, scooch over, please." <laughs> <laughs> where Where do you post up, Waylon? Uh, at the bar. Um, so from here, there are multiple bars in this place. There's one, of course, on the main floor. There's one on the second level. It's just a ways away from where they are along a different edge of the wall. Um, but you post up so you can see them from the booth and you can kind of get a general scope of the surroundings. Give a perception check. It starts. It's begun. I need to be freaking like, uh, what's the word when you get the demons out of your body? <laughs> exercise. exercise. Yeah. I also need exercise. Yeah, so that is a zero. It's fine. It's cool. You need new dice. Honestly. You need new hands. <laughs> <laughs> you need a hand. Hey! So, I mean... So as, as you're about to do, <laughs> like do a kind of a scope of the room, um, two girls come and sit 
like you're at like a corner of the bar so that from the edge of the bar you can see and just as you're about to kind of scope two girls come and sit right in front of you on the corner and and they're like laughing having a great time really excited for the night and chittering on about and so it, it distracts you and you can't quite see you don't you no longer have a clear sight of theo yeah, but i know exactly what's going on with her and mark and that bullshit he said the other day <laughs> <laughs> exactly i was gonna need to this resist being stuck later. into the drama <laughs> <laughs> Roll a will. <laughs> I can't Is Theo here for the tea? Or... You. Oh, Theo so clearly think... needs to be aware for the divorce, so he needs the inside information. <laughs> nice. Um, so I gotta know. Wait, is this, this is Molly, Molly or is this the girls at the bar? Okay, thank you. <laughs> this is Molly. <laughs> I thought we were gonna get some good tea here. Um, I really didn't ever think that I'd hear from you again. I told you I owed you a date. Like, not nah, obligation. No, communication may not be my strong suit, but I am a man of my word. True statements. And tonight um, was a uh, priority. Hmm. I've missed you. I feel the same, and I don't like when you make me talk about that. And at that point, a a, a waitress comes up, and she's about to ask like what you guys would like, but a larger individual with a gold tie steps over. Um, actually, this is my section tonight. Theo smirks. And, like, without even looking at Molly, he's just staring you down, Theo. Mr. Golden today? Because if so, please let him know Mr. Uh, Maxwell sends his regards. What can I get you? We need a little bit of time. I'll let you know. I'll be right over here. And he steps just over by the rail and just out of like Molly's sight with the booth. Are you frozen? Oh, there he is. And and he's just standing staring at you. He's Did not checking on many other tables. What is you do this? No, you I was asking. I, th I thought that's what you were saying. Like he went over out of her sight to give me the death alert. Oh, um, he he didn't physically take his thumb across his throat and say you're a dead man. <laughs> but he, you can, with the look he's giving you, you can kind of tell he's shooting daggers. Oh, Theo is just smiling ear to ear right now. Uh, what do I need to roll to try to like catch Wayland's attention? <laughs> to kind of like sick just to like signal to be aware of well you have to beat a zero like so <laughs> but but i did say that those girls sat in the way so now they broke direct sight line so now as right you look that's what i was trying to figure Wayland, out like, is there a way that i could like what could i roll to like signal because like the if the if wayland was how you to, well that's what i'm saying so like let me know if my this thought process makes sense. Like, Waylon would mm -hmm. sit in a place where he could see Theo. So Theo would also make sure he could see Waylon. And if he would see that he's being obstructed, I feel like Theo would be aware to, like, have to do something probably audibly to get him to understand. You like, does that thought process make, make sense or is that just too meta? Yeah. I think like I don't think no, you I mean, have any way to make sure you could see Wayland because you had no idea where you were gonna sit. It's on Wayland to get an eyeline on you. Yeah, I think the thing that's I think a the fair point. That's, what you'll see if you look around the bar, you'll see Wayland going like, <laughs> <laughs> but trying to be subtle. Uh, Theo would like to like knock and like Morse code. <laughs> okay. How so far away are you guys? I don't know. That's what I was trying to like get an idea of an understanding of. 
And I'm also assuming because good... it's seven o'clock, it's probably not super busy yet. So I wouldn't assume it's very loud yet. No, it's not very loud. There's just the jazz, the cloud jazz band is playing. <laughs> and um, you're probably Mark like on 30, 40 though, so. feet away. I don't know what 30, 40 feet in meters is. <laughs> Fake news. 10. A, a third of that. <laughs> yeah. 10, 10 meters. It's not even oh, okay. a real calculated system. Come on, guys. Imperial is clearly the correct counting measure. Says one of the only countries still <laughs> <know>. using it. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's funny. Because it's wrong. Nope. Wayland, roll another perception check to see if you can make out what he's tapping. Or even that you notice that he's tapping. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's uh, completely neutral. So, one. Yeah, Mark is an asshole. Fuck <laughs> that guy. Fucking piece of shit. I actually, like... What I, were you trying? I, I, like, I, like, express, like, through my nose... As the story's happening, like I'm, I'm starting to hate Mark too. <laughs> <laughs> Express through your nose. I totally know what you mean because that's the only way Harper expresses herself. <laughs> um. So yeah, you don't see. But what were you trying to tap, Theo? Just aware. Okay. Um, yeah. I think um, what I'm gonna do, uh, because obviously uh, this is situation isn't gonna get any easier. So I'm going to be a lot less conspicuous. I'm going to go around the ladies, excuse me, ladies, and I'm going to sit a few seats down from them in the middle of the bar, and I'm just going to, like, mm -hmm. be resting on it. Oh, okay. Uh, Theo's going to look over to Molly. I I understand that you're hungry. I would love to dance. Do you, would you care to dance? I thought you hated dancing. I enjoy anything if you're involved. Really laying it on thick tonight, Buster. Uh, Theo's going to stand up and take her hand. Uh, and as they're walking by Wayland, you know, that guy just seemed a little abrasive, right? Yeah, that waiter, that was so weird. That big guy just kind of seemed like a jackass. I'd much preferred the lady that came up first. She just had a much more pleasant aura to her. Less threatening. Yeah, it's weird that he's not even going with any of the other tables. So weird. And Sorry. I want Theo is like making sure he catches his eyesight when this guy. Oh, this isn't to Wayland. Like when he's talking shit about this guy, Theo wants him to be aware that he is asking okay. shit. <laughs> and Theo's so, going to escort Molly to the dance floor. And the dance floor is like, I, 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 let me paint the picture. So you have the main floor, you have tables and booths on the outside and bars, but the center is of a dance floor. Mm hmm into the corner where the stand where the stage is the upper level is more like a balcony mm -hmm. with um tables and booths and some bars but there's the dance floor you'd have to go back downstairs yeah no i understand that okay so you go back down i had to get a message to wayland and talk shit to this guy so sure good plan um so you go out into the dance floor and at this point it's kind of like a, a slower smoother tune on board Uh, once um, they get close, Theo is going to like hold her close and start, I'm going to say whispering in her ear, all of you calm down. You know that I am involved with some less than ideal individuals, correct? Um, unofficially, yes. Unofficially, of course. If... My boss were to ask me, I don't know shit. That's what you taught me. Correct. I 100% want to see you, and I plan to see you more in the future. Gold and I aren't on good terms. I don't trust the individual that was at our table. And she kind of backs up. Like her head a little way. Theo ways. immediately pulls your back in close. Oh. Then why the fuck are we here? Isn't this like the gold spot? There's a lot going on, and you have every right to be mad at me. Moment. 
but we will make up for this later. Oh my god! You are one of the few people I trust. And I needed to be able to have a conversation with you in person. I can't believe you're doing this to me again. We could have gone anywhere in the city and had this conversation, but you decided to bring me here where you're in hot water with the golds. This is the only way I could make sure you were safe. And she steps back. I don't feel safe with you, Theo. Fantastic. Denton will take you home. Or wherever you would like to go. I'll get home on my own, thanks. I do not need you. Uh, as she walks away, Theo immediately texts Denton to follow her to make sure she's safe. Speaking of outside, Sirkin and Kit. Um, you were posted outside the club. In the pink car, correct? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, you saw them all get out of the car and you saw Denton kind of drive away and park down the street. Um, and as you guys are out there, uh, roll a perception check. That is a two. Are you rolling two, Kit? Yes, a three. Okay. So two and a half. <laughs> Round it up, of course. Yeah. Um, you, yeah, you, you're watching. You don't see any sort of strange activity outside the club. Um, after like 20 or so minutes, you do notice the individual that got out of the car with Theo, like marching out and even like accidentally knocks into one of the bouncers on the outside. And She's just like stomping down the street and you kind of see her wiping an eye. Um, and just, she's like marching. She's not acting, asking for a car. She's just walking down the street away. That's it. <laughs> you see. Kit's gonna... <laughs> Ouch. How do you think it's going? <laughs> Swimmingly. <laughs> Looks Is like it. I turned to seducer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know what I have to do. No. <laughs> that rebound, baby. Serkin starts putting on lipstick. Um. <laughs> <laughs> takes, oh, and takes the wig off. and. <laughs> um. Well, it appears this date is over. Should we move on to the next phase of our evening? Doesn't he have another date? You know what? You're absolutely correct. Are you hungry? <clears throat> Come with me. And Sirkin gets out of the car and <laughs> leaves the door open for her to follow. She, like, looks at the driver and is like, do you want something? <laughs> <laughs> and Torx in the front. Oh, oh. You guys haven't really spoken to me this whole time. I Thought you forgot I was up here. Actually, yeah, I could really go for a sandwich. If if that's if that's where you guys are headed. I I don't know. I will bring you something back. I guess. Wow, thanks. That, yeah, that's really appreciated. Thanks. Right. Something. And going to she McDaniels? like <laughs> She slides out the car and like slams the door and is like like looks around and like trots after him. Uh, we pass through the alley and around the backside where we head down the stairs that lead to the subway to Jerry's Deli. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you would just go um, you wouldn't have to go around the building for this. You would you would go to the nearest subway entrance mm -hmm. and go down the stairs and um, and yeah, <laughs> yeah, entered this like podunk little deli slash mart, and it just says Jerry's and real faded paint on an awning. Um, 
here in the subway. And uh, there's a guy, a real unassuming, forgettable man <laughs> behind the counter. Jerry, lovely to see you again. Uh, hi, uh, Sir Sirkin? How lovely of you to remember. Did Ellen get her braces off? I knew it was yeah, coming up did. very soon. She actually did just the other day. Wow. Yeah, would you believe Terrific. it? She, uh, uh, her, she's got the greatest little smile now. She was embarrassed for the longest time, and I kept telling her, Ellen, honey, just wait till those braces get off. And you know what I told her the other day? I said, there was a, a man, he asked about you, and uh, I... Actually, I took a picture with the braces off just in case he came through. Would you like to see? I'd love to. Did it, it, uh, pulls it out. <laughs> Did Samantha take this, your lovely wife? Uh, actually, yeah. <laughs> well, she sure did. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. And it yeah, that's, that's Ellen. And Ellen is a homely looking girl with this <laughs> wide grin. I see Her where your daughter gets joy. her beautiful smile. Oh, it's it's all the wife. It's all it's all Sam, little mm. Sammy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh I'd like to order some sandwiches if you'd be so kind. Oh, sure. Do you do you like the way you like it? I, lo it's, and, I and, love it. It's terrific. I'm very happy for you all. Uh, what about you, little lady? Uh, it's, you know what? It's on the house. Whatever you want. Kit. Um, two turkey on a hero with lettuce, tomato, mayo, and oil, please. Oh, wow. <laughs> Quite the appetite in this one. Uh, there's another one to feed, but, you know. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Here's mouth. Enter foot. <laughs> oh, boy. It's had me. Classic and he Jerry. Starts Starts like whipping together some sandwiches, um, and and as he's he's making these sandwiches, he's he's back is to you. Um, he's like, oh, uh, hey, what did you believe it, Circuit? Uh, your name is just I, I keep hearing it quite often these days. Everyone who who comes through the oh comes through the secret entrance. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just I just keep hearing your name. It's it's funny. You are the talk. Uh, the town. Mm, anything good? <laughs> oh, uh, nothing that I'd like to repeat in front of the lady, if you know <laughs> what I mean. She's called me worse. Oh, this little sweet one? No. She's going to punch me oh, in my there's dick. There's the Minnesota accent. <laughs> <answer. laughs> <laughs> he's like working and he just stop. <laughs> what, what mask are you going to wear when she does it? <laughs> <laughs> It'll like, have at least three zippers. Kit like looks at him and is like, "Really? You aren't?" I mean, never mind. It's off the table. No, <laughs> it's not off the table. <laughs> you can put it on the table. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can. Feel free. What I'm saying, Jerry, anything you have to say, you can say in front of the lady. Oh, well, that makes me feel a lot better. I've been watching what I've been saying, if you believe it. But uh, hey, I are you going to uh, you just said you going to the entrance? <laughs> <laughs> are you going to the funeral tomorrow? Yes, of course. I, I did forget to write down where and when, though. You know how memories can be. Oh, no, not yours. You seem to have a mind like a trap. Only for things I value, Jerry. Only for things I value. Like our friendship. <laughs> and he, like, brings his sandwiches over and he just, like, makes eye contact. And you, you see his eyes well up just the slightest bit. Uh, oh. The funeral. Uh, it, put this in here because I think... You might value this, uh, as you <laughs> probably were told. Funeral's gonna be tomorrow. So probably told. <laughs> Two o'clock at the Gold Mansion. 
They want to, you know, yeah. keep it close to uh, family and, and honored guests. I wasn't invited, but uh, he's in my in my prayers. I would uh, I would be honored to take you, but I already have my plus one. And he points to Kit. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Uh, can you believe how it happened? Just <laughs> I can murdered with, by a man with a hook. Can mm. you believe that? That's tragic. It really it's is. It's like some type of slasher movie. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. I'd hate to be that man with a hook right now. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry. Well, anyway, how's <laughs> the, the sandwiches ready? <laughs> yep. There you go. One just. The Circan Special, as I call it. Look, I even changed the name. And up on the menu, Beautiful. it just says Circan Special. <laughs> <laughs> My pastrami on rye. Three. Use tongue next time. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, as he, as Jerry passes, the, puts the sandwiches down, uh, Circan catches his hand and puts his hand over top Jerry's hand. <sighs> Jerry. Yes. Yes. Today your life changes forever. Today is the last day of Jerry's deli. Is something going to happen to my deli? This place is my life. What's What do you mean? This block is about to be engulfed in flames. You should take everything you value. All these photos and drawings your daughter has made. Take everything of sentimental value, all of your money, and get out. <laughs> Roll charisma? Yeah. Roll charisma? Are you lying? Yeah. We're using that as perception. Uh, or I mean persuasion kind of thing. That is a three. Yep, yeah, and... <laughs> Three on the competence is good, but with the already stellar relationship you guys have. Um, how long do I have? Ten minutes. And, and he <laughs> just like quickly starts grabbing things. And Sirkin pulls out one of his scalpels and passes it over to Jerry. You want to cut down the sign and take that with you, of course. Sentimental Wait. value. Why are you so fucking weird? <laughs> Why are Just you like does not engage. <laughs> and, uh, we, you know, we, we didn't discuss what Sirkin's loadout leaving his house was. Oh. <laughs> Shall we discuss? And, uh,. Something that he he's prepared for where this night's gonna take him. Uh, he's taken the revolver that we saw in his uh, that he has on his mantle, his re revolver. Um, mm -hmm. His the old he sister. has taken his uh, uh, scalpels. He has uh, a like wind across for scalpels. His it's essentially like yeah, it's like essentially a little holster for for scalpels. Sure. Uh, and now he's going to walk to the secret entrance and reach in his coat and pull out a smoke bomb, like a smoke grenade. See, but it's weird that Theo carries those around. Fuck all of you. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually from Theo's trunk. <laughs> Sir could walk by. It's like, oh, it's like that one. I could use that. Well, yeah, we have Theo, like Theo's like palmed little one for his magic trick. This is like a military grade. <laughs> Smoke bomb. Okay. Well. Uh. All right. So, do you? What are you doing with the smoke bomb? Just like lobbing it in, or? Uh. So for for time's sake, because we're gonna have to jump back mm -hmm. to Theo. This uh, Sirkin is going to pull the pin, throw it down, at a yeah. See right there. <laughs> Flashbang three point um, and th like. <laughs> Throw it into this stairwell that will lead out into the casino uh, at about the time that the uh, second date should be underway. So, Thea, so okay. basically, this this is a 
distraction that will planning to reverberate consequences giving Theo about that half hour hour before the ruckus uh, is too much all right all right all right so to retcon just slightly and if that time is going to take place um, you would have stayed in the car long enough to see Molly storm mm. out um, and I don't know if you would have even known who Retta Cawthon is. She's a journalist of some Probably renown. But is she a face, like a face journalist, or is she like a paper, like a writer? A paper writer, yeah. Okay. So it, we probably we, we can just say that in that time Kit and I are eating at the deli. <laughs> All right. So yeah, she had walked in while you were away. Theo, after Molly storms out, what were you and Waylon doing? Uh, so Theo is going to a bar, a single tear running down his cheek as he texts Don Coochie, uh, send Molly the normal. And then the next text says, kidding, double it. <laughs> and you get a text back. You got it. It's uh, been a minute. Theo is going to get two shots. Okay. Do you down them both? Or are you? Oh, yeah. Taking them. Okay. Okay. Theo has feelings, guys. <laughs> See? Um, as, Rude. After oh. you take these two shots, um, you turn away from the bar and that waiter, quote, waiter from upstairs, is now standing directly behind you. You got some nerve showing your f ugly mug here. That's Maxwell. really ironic coming from one of the ugliest people I've ever seen in my entire existence. When you, you like came out to... the womb, did like the doctor like try to catch you with his foot and just like kick you or <laughs> what the fuck happened? Because when I say deformed, I think the hunchback might look better than you do. You fucking buffoon. <laughs> Roll provoke. I hope your intimidate. IQ Woo! is better than your looks because I don't know how else you're going to do anything in life. Or is that how you got here? Sorry, what was I rolling? Provoke. Slash that's intimidate. A... Holy shit! Uh, three minus one, so plus two, plus one, so plus three. So on that last comment, um, you can see him like gritting his teeth the whole time and like acting not bothered, but something about his like eyesight and IQ just like trigger something. <laughs> <laughs> and he like just tries to go in for punch you square in the face. So he's going to roll a hit. Um, Wait, let me get. I'm still not sure how fighting roll. works. Do I just have to like take this? Uh, you no, roll you, to defend uh, defense with is, the stat yeah. that works. It could be athletics. It could be fight. It could be is um, something around? else. Wayland was upstairs no. previously. Well, I mean, I figured if he saw the big guy come downstairs, I would assume oh, yeah, he yeah, would yeah, come sure, downstairs. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Uh, because if that's the case, then I would like to use my stunt, not the face, where I combine physique with a physical person nearby. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay. Instead of Waylon, so, it's just some random woman you just grab and throw into the pool. If you want to roleplay it. Some girl's just enjoying her drink and you um, turn and go. <laughs> if you want to make it work in roleplay, Bozer, I can role fight to like defend for him. All right, and you're close by enough? I, I like, yeah. Um, uh, I'll take the hit. I would. I just, in my head, I just assumed Wayland would immediately. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. I wouldn't stay at the bar when he follows sure. Theo downstairs. So, he rolled a three to fight. What'd you roll to defend? Oh, do I still roll to defend here? Pause. Are you using your aspect, not the face? Or the stunt, not the face? Yes. Okay, so then I want you to roll fight as as a defense, and then you're going to combine that with the physique of Wayland. Oh, okay, so I don't have to roll. What is your no. physique score? 
my physique is uh, plus three. Jeez, so I get plus four to this roll. <laughs> or would, don't I get plus two with the stunt too, or is that not how stunts work? That's not stunts. Stunts. Um, that's how this, is that the aspect stunt. portion? That's aspect. Yes. aspect okay, so this is just a again. defense thing I have set up. Okay. So sometimes stunts would add plus two if that's how the, the way that you built it, but the way you Minus built it is two, it adds the plus two one. So plus three in total. Okay, so it's a tie. So in the case of a tie, um, neither team, neither party really achieves their goal. Um, the so ducks he ends up and catches his fist. Yeah, I like it. With the claw. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> he punches my hand up. Um, <laughs> just just uh, skids across the table. Oh my floor. god! What have you done? I'll catch his fist. I'll catch his fist and then just like kind of like whisper like from over his shoulder, like, not in here, pal. Damn, you really are fucking stupid. You're fucking stupid for showing your face here. You're a dead man. And he, like, steps back, corrects his suit. You're not leaving here alive, Maxwell. I was just about to tell you the same thing. And as he, like, steps away, um, you would notice that he, he goes over towards the front of the area and kind of whispers something in some other goon's ears. Um, but as he steps away... Who is standing behind him but Retta Coffin? And do you find her normally you you see her like last night at the fight night? She was dressed rather well. Yeah, what was last night? <laughs> that was last night. <laughs> yep. Um, she's usually dressed rather well professionally, but a, a little bit of a, a some class there. For a date? She doesn't look as nice as Molly. Um, she kind of has some bags under her eyes. Um, she's even wearing like a big hat that's obscuring her face a bit. And she she like is looking around for you and then spots you and comes over quick. Um, can we can we sit? Uh, and Theo's just going to take her to like a corner booth away from people. Okay. Where are you going to be, Wayland? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll just post up at the next bar. You looked like a toe. <laughs> <laughs> or what's that? It looked like Jackbox, like the guy on the cover. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or like the original Jackbox. You don't know Jack? Um,. So you guys go to a corner booth. Uh, nice to see you, Theo. Cut the pleasantries. What's up? Um, we might have bitten off more than we were ready to chew. Uh, I haven't slept, partially to get the article out, but since then, um. I kind of went above my editor's head to get the article out. Uh, and so he's been biting my head off. And um, there's been people outside my apartment. What the fuck did I do, Theo? You are simply making moves to the next stage of your career. Uh, and Theo is going to pull out the uh, evidence that he has on the arts luminary uh, and slide it over to her. Uh, Which arch luminary? Uh, the intelligence guy. Is that Harold Faust? Is that the one from the very beginning? From episode yes, one, yeah. From Harold Faust, the one that you had dirt that he was cheating around. Uh, I don't think we got specific about it, but yeah, there was a uh, sexual miscreant description in yeah. his bio. So you had some like nudie photos and stuff. Take care of yourself. Lay low. I will reach out when it's safe. I, what's what's the play here? We don't just get to... The less you know right now, the better. I am not in the business of not knowing. I've 
gotten where I am by knowing more than I should. And if I am to take the position of an arch luminary, as you claim to have the power to make happen, I need to know every move. Theo takes a deep breath and just... <sighs> Kieran Gold attempted to take my life last night. We are going to war this evening. Again, you should take this and disappear, and I will reach out when it is safe, and you will have a hands-on exclusive. So again, take this information, make yourself scarce. War is about to hit the streets. Roll perception. You too, Wayland. Oh, thank God. Oof, that's a four. <laughs> I need you to stop making me roll plus one things. It's very stressful. <laughs> I like my high rolls, please. Uh, negative one. Jesus Christ, Wayland. <laughs> um, so, from your point, Theo, in the corner bar, or the corner booth, um, first you smell it. And then you notice that from a vent at your feet... There's some smoke. Uh, Theo grabs her hand uh, and just makes his way towards the door. Sirkin, the smoke bomb has now gone off in the middle of their conversation. And it's because they were in the corner in the bar on the main floor. Um, it kind of came to the vents and starting in that corner of the room. Um, what did you do I'm after you throw this? The smoke bomb. Like, did you exit the premises? Did you stay yeah. there? We took our sandwiches and left Jerry to pack up shop. Head okay. back to the car. So you leave him and he's scurrying and he's like pulling out a ladder in the front and trying to, to use a small scalpel to cut through canvas. <laughs> and it, in his panic, is not going very well. And he tears right through the re. Um, he's like, that's good enough. But the smoke is now pooling, and as you're like walking away up the stairs, um, you you see and hear individuals kind of piling out, coughing, sputtering. Um, but if you just go straight to the car, um, did did you bring me a sandwich? Oh, and she pops it up to the front. I didn't know what your normal order was, so I just ordered the same as I got i guess oh wow Thank i'm not picky wow that's cool uh, I, have a, I have down. a question so is yes. jerry's next shop going to be jairs or is it going to be jays i need to know how many letters were ripped off <laughs> <laughs> it was j-e-r he okay, had a so problem and ripped now. it got it <laughs> jurors yeah just jur um but at this point people are starting to notice the smoke coming through the vents um, and panic is starting to set in and it's starting to come through other vents and uh, now in this scene um, if we were to set the zone we're here on the main floor as a zone and there's an aspect of uh, obscured vision and difficult to breathe what are you doing um, I guess we'd make for the door right yeah Uh, Theo is palming his gun in case somebody wants to fuck around and find out. So, do we roll stealth with a plus two? Because uh, obscured vision? Um, if you create an advantage, I mean, the advantage, I guess, is... Yeah, you're right. If you're trying to do stealth, like creating an advantage, then you can use that aspect. It's free for you, it's free for the opponent to use. Okay, cool. So, yeah, I think uh, I'm just going to try to, like, use the smoke to create a little guy's obscure our visage to get out of there. And are you going through the front door? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Go ahead and roll a south. Come on. Okay, two positives and two negatives. So what's the stat? Okay, two. So four total. Four total. Okay. 
Very good. Okay, that's great on the competence scale. Uh, <laughs> that dog, I love him. So with the smoke, you are like bumping into people uh, and there's like a lot of panic and people are, are falling around you, but you're able to kind of stay relatively unseen. And in this distraction, you can see like the bouncers are now on high alert. Everyone wearing a gold tie is now seeking looking for something or somebody specifically. Um, but with a four, you manage to get right through the front door um, in the crowd and in the smoke. Uh, Rad, I think um, if I can, uh, seeing as how uh, Theo and his uh, date or whatever is not going to be able to probably be so stealthy, um, I'm going to like hold an action to attack anybody that attacks them so I can like get the jump on them first. Okay, sure. So, but you're outside. Oh, I made it all the way up? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, cool. That, cool. Was that so your I'll intention? Like, yeah, I'm just going to make sure that like I have line of sight on them as best as I can so that I can make sure they get out as well. Okay. Theo and Retta, was your goal for the front door too? Yeah, I got a three in total. That's counting the smoke. In stealth? Yeah. Um, and that's because you're now trying to tow Retta, mm -hmm. who's like sputtering and causing a little bit of a scene. Like, like she's panicked. She doesn't know what's going on. Um, and because of that, there's a bouncer at the front. Um, one that, that had previously interacted with and then one next to him. Um, and you hear, there he is. And they are going to attempt to uh, tackle you in the smoke. Uh, Can I do my attack then first? You're outside, though. They haven't gotten out the door yet. But I would have to pass these guys to... Right. So that's why I asked, are you outside? Because my question, they're inside. They're, like, trying to breathe through the smoke, but looking for Theo. You pass yeah. them. You're outside. They're, they haven't passed them yet. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, like, my intention, and and if I have to use um, rushing strike, I will. But my intention was to make sure that they have a clear path out, right? So, like, if I'm in the, if I make it past the guards, I'd be attacking them from behind. Is like okay. The, is my mentality. Sure, then as you see them go for Theo, go ahead and roll yeah. your attack. Yeah, that's that was what I was Isn't that what about. your stunt is for? That to move a zone and attack? Um, that's a different thing. Uh, I'm gonna oh. use since I don't have to do that. Um, I was just prepared to, to do it. I would like to target both of the guys with the hook cleave. Nice. Except you stole oh, the hook. Except I don't have it. It's you not stole the hook in a shed. Um, okay, no problem. Got then your I'll, hand. Just, uh, I'll just uh, freaking attack, uh, attack a mofo. Huh. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> huh. Huh. That's a response. That's interesting. Um, okay. So, I guess with three negatives and a neutral, that will bring my amazing fight to... Uh, you know what? I'm going to, uh, can I invoke, uh, giving up the ghost, uh, to like use like a stealthy attack? Sure. I'll you take were, it. You were. Yeah. So. Mamma mia. Here we go So again. that is a three, which is, you know, actually really bad for me. <laughs> Hmm. Well, better than they did. So as they're lunging towards Theo, you, you what? Do you tackle them? Do you? What are you attempting to do? Take them both out? Yeah, I'll just like I'll just like football football rush them. Okay. So you kind of <laughs> side move them, and they they stumble just enough for Theo and Retta to exit through the front door. Um. Hey, Al. 
What a weird time mind if I just show up. Do you mind if I force? While you're like ambling around the city, you <clears throat> might notice smoke pouring out of experience. I do mind. Unless you'd, yeah. nope. you'd like to continue to sit there quiet and not involved. <laughs> well, I was I was waiting for maybe like a phone call or something. <laughs> You said not to bother. You, like, left on pretty bad terms. Yeah. Well, I mean, I left on bad terms with, like, the two of you. I haven't seen the other two. Do they have your number? I'm, I'm assuming we I don't. wouldn't. But yeah, I, he definitely wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Al doesn't want Cirkin to have any information about him. Right. I'm still hiding the fact I have his gun. <laughs> <laughs> so as you're like coming up to the building to investigate you see all these people pouring out and smoke pouring out of the building people coughing sputtering and who runs smack dab into you but theo and rata coffin uh as theo runs into him uh, he doesn't really pay him much mind but he immediately pulls the gun and points it at the door to make wait sure waitland can get out from the bodyguards um, since now you are engaged with the bodyguards, they are going to um, quickly come to their feet, but they are having trouble breathing as well. They've been in the smoke longer. You got at least some fresh air, a breath, and then going back in. So they're going to take an attack on you. Wayland, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, that's a, a net zero. Um, okay. Then I beat it. I got a two. Just beat it. Just what did you beat oh, it with? Three. Fight or or athletics? Uh, fight. So All right. Like, so uh, then as they... Okay. All right. So they take some swings at you and you parry them away. One hits a clunk with your wooden hand. <laughs> and you see him like kind of catch her. Huh? Is there... <laughs> what do you do? Um, okay, I will, um, I think I will just try to, they, they made it out, right? Just to be mm -hmm. clear, the, the, I will just try to sneak again and like hide in the smoke and try to just like rush out. Okay. And you can, I mean, I'm considering this combat ask, so you can move a zone. Freely. Yeah, so you can yeah, just so exit the, the building. I'm gonna stealth and then I'm if uh and then hopefully I'm gonna be able to escape. Uh this was a much better roll here, so um I got a you get plus two from fog. Yeah, so I got a five. Cool. <laughs> yeah, as as we parry it away I and when Wayland gets out. And they're like coughing and wheezing. They go to look back at you and you're just you're fog. You are disappearing. They're coughing and wheezing? I catch them. I throw <laughs> God damn it. Well, watch out for that explosion, though. God. Did I lower uh, the HP down enough? Uh, what's the catch rate, you think? Should I throw a great ball? <laughs> That's a low HP sound for anybody that had their Game Boy on sound. I never did, but... <laughs> All right, so as he's exiting the building, Theo, what were you doing? You're shooting him uh, with your gun? For, Potential reasons. Um, as Theo gets out, or as Wayland gets out, Theo shuts the door and pulls out handcuffs to latch the doors together. Why would you have those on you? You freak, <laughs> a magician, freak of nature. Yeah, I'm a magician. <laughs> He's gonna escape them later. See, <laughs> I have so many more questions about Al. Don't don't ask um, me either by my bedside. Just to be, it doesn't have to, to be, be handcuffs. I just want to find a way to latch the door shut so the guards can't get out. No, I'm fine with that. But just to be clear, um, people were still pouring out, like musicians and oh, the wait gotcha. staff. Then disregard it, that. Then okay, I'm like, you're welcome to shut them in, but I just want you to know what you're doing. Okay, okay. But as soon as he sees Wayland, then because Denton did Denton follow Molly like Theo told him to? Are you text Denton to follow Molly? Mm -hmm, to make sure she got home. Oh, that's safe. right. Then yes. Okay. Uh, then Theo is going to grab Retta and Wayland and probably just kind of drag them and start following the crowd to get out and kind of disappear into it. Take my strong um, hand. 
He didn't grab you. Is that a watch? I have two hands. <laughs> but Al didn't get grabbed. How do you I feel about I have two that, hands. Yeah, it bumped bumped into me, and I, uh, now I'm just like, oh, oh. this is all happening very quickly. He can follow if he wants. Theo's aware that he is very upset with him. Theo's not going to force him to go with them. No. Can I roll perception to see if in the chaos and from inside the car, Kit and I can make this out? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Can I roll perception to see a pink SUV? <laughs> uh, it's a it's a four. Yeah. So you're watching. You're like waiting. You eating the rest of your sandwich, I'm just so waiting happy. for the smoke to start pouring out. Oh, I jumped um, in. I'm I'm riding shotgun. Okay. I jumped in the front passenger seat. <laughs> Uh, so as soon as, I, as the smoke starts coming, you're watching very carefully, and you yeah. see them pour out the front door. When uh, when I see uh, our people get out, I turn to Torek and I say, "Get out, Kit, take the wheel." Uh... Fine, watch them die. Do it uh, now. Like, so gets Kit's out. gonna, Kit's just gonna like hop over the front seat. I don't what know how Torque would get out. Torque works for Theo, not Sirkin. <laughs> you think Torque's probably gonna got listen like to you mayo when I'm and... next to him? Yeah, yeah Torque's Alone? probably got like mayo all over his yeah. hands as he was eating his se like sandwich. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's sitting there like uh, So you probably like move to the yeah. back seat while like Kit slides over the front. No, I told him to, to get, get a chance out. To just we need sandwich. we need the room in the car. Oh. He's get out. <laughs> Oh, okay. And he's standing there in the street with a sandwich and, like, goes to <laughs> grab the door, but it's locked. Hey, wait. Wait. What do I do with my hands? <laughs> um, All right, I get guess, in the driver's seat. Yeah, I guess, um... Let's scoop I'll him. Just, I'll just, like, pop my head up. I'll no, he can fit too. in the car. SUVs fit seven. Was it an SUV? They're yeah. Really, the, mm -hmm. the black, you guys got a black SUV. Yeah, and then I ordered you guys oh. an SUV. I didn't know it was also a pink SUV. I already told him to get yeah. out. It's fine. <laughs> get in the trunk. Uh, what? So, Kit, driving, what are you doing? Unlocking um, the car, I hope. I pay him. Yeah, I, I guess I unlock the door, and once he's in, like, where are you guys in relative, like, to us hiding in the crowd i imagine they're the like we saw them in front of us like they're coming out and heading down the street that way so we'd pull up alongside them so they could jump in okay. if you can drive this mother okay uh do you want me to roll drive, drive? Okay. yeah <laughs> through a crowd of people and smoke <laughs> with Sturkin watching you Okay, um, um, I'm going to use, um, ba -ba 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 -ba. virtual dice, baby. They, uh, <laughs> yeah. um, can I do it's so dangerous? Can I invoke anything you can do? I can do better. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, so if I'd use that, it's a three. All right. Um, at this point, people are like piling into the street and smoke is like panic is setting in. No one's staying on the sidewalk. There's people everywhere. And you're like slowly rolling through these people trying not to mow them down. And um, you've got like people like banging on the front like, what the hell, man? Look out. And somebody just kind of rolls over the front of the car. Um, but eventually I'm... Kit's going to scream. <laughs> out the window or just like in the car like in shock like so like okay yeah do Waylon and I need to roll perception to see if we see the car it's pink <laughs> it's, pink. it's pink how do there's you there's a lot going it? on there's a lot going on there's Go an roll. driving through a crowd <laughs> I'm not really it's a street if you're rocking in the street it's rocking She immediately runs. The as soon as Kip gets behind the wheel, uh, freaking Dragula by Rob Zombie starts. Right. 
Kit, the lives of all of these people are in your hands right now. 500 points. Um, so Roll perception, I'm assuming... Theo and, and Wayland. Sure. Oh, wow. Are you joking? <laughs> That's so frustrating how good that is. <laughs> Wayland! What was your perception roll? Uh, three. Nice. Okay. So it's a Which hot pink SUV. Which is incredible for me, for the record. But <laughs> Good job. You see almost like a scene from like a zombie movie. Like all these people just almost overcoming this car. But it's hot pink. And um, you can see it slowly rolling. And so yeah, you see it. Okay, cool. Also, I don't know what went down with uh, Al and Theo. Because I wasn't there. Um, mm -hmm. So I'll just like motion over my shoulder, like get in, kid. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Um, bumped into him. They all run off. I'm like blindly following. Like, what the fuck is going on? And I'm. If they're Theo gonna hop is... in, I'll hop in. Theo is okay. so disoriented. Theo got a minus three, so he is distracted by fucking everything. Oh my god! You had to get pulled into this car. Um. Minus three isn't even on the ladder. How do you get minus three? Uh, wow. I have a uh, plus one to perception and I rolled all negatives. Oof. That's, even a I haven't done that that's, yet. that's brutal. Wow. Um, but that's all right because I'm a trained professional and I get everyone in the car safely. Theo's that's only concern right, is making sure Reda is safe at the moment. So. <laughs> so as you guys are getting in, Torek is there like in a sandwich like eating and he just keeps getting pushed back further and further until he's tucked in the corner of the suv as you guys are piling in they okay to you're gonna car. finish that what the f what are you you're the driver we're going to lose our deposit i was told to get out of the car <laughs> more importantly <laughs> what the fuck is going on don't ever listen to sirkin like we're all just like fucking bickering over each yelling other. at each other. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you guys are doing some, some once everybody shady shit. I'm over here like what? what? <laughs> Is the street you, still oh, incredibly crowded? In with us? I would assume so. Yeah, the streets. Um, it it there was like an initial very crowded moment, and that's when you were getting out. Um, but like I said, the bar didn't hit full capacity. It's still <laughs> relatively early. It was starting to fill up now that it's um, closer to nine. And some more people were there. But once you get past the initial doorway um, and through the, the main mass of people, it's much less crowded. And you Is have there more, a more freedom roof? to drive. Yes. Uh, Theo opens the sunroof, stands up, and then turns to the gold members. And... <laughs> <Out the sunroof>. <laughs> um... <laughs> So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna like take charge a little bit. I'm gonna pull Theo down, <laughs> and I'm gonna yell to Kit, uh, "Drive far and fast. We need to ditch this car and hop in a new one before uh, we move on to the next step." Well, cause someone decided that they wanted a pink car. That was all that was available. Ah, <sighs> oh, it's all right. Hey. GTA. We'll just go to respray shop, and it'll be fine. <laughs> oh, level will go down. Uh, I would like to use a fake point for that to be a thing. <laughs> no, no, no. It's plastic. Right. We just we just go in an alleyway and we pull the, the pink plastic dip off. <laughs> <laughs> That's a thing. That's a thing. Are you really spending a fake point for that? No. <laughs> okay. Oh, I, oh, I thought that was actually sick. Um, okay. I am going to use. I'll spend a fake point for it because smuggling, baby. I gotta, I'm I gotta stay on this. That is I'm going to use a fake point to reroll. Um, roll, right. re, what are you using to, to, I'm, uh, probably another, anything you could do, I could do better than Torque, basically. Why are we disrespecting Torque? I don't know. I was putting the driver's seat. he's an NPC, seat. all right? That's why. I was putting the right. driver's seat, and I don't know why. Big main character energy. Three. All right, so much better. better. After, you, after you get out of the main crowd of people, you floor it, it and burn rubber down the street and away. As you turn the corner, uh, you see the like light guard coming down the street headed towards that location. Headed towards where we're driving to? Headed towards um, experience. Oh, okay, okay. 
Um, Retta turns to you. What the fuck is happening? Stop the car now. Drive. Uh, Absolutely do not stop. Go fast and far. We'll ditch the car. We can talk then. Theo, you shut the fuck up right now. Um, no, so, she needs ooh, out of this. Oh, stop the car. I punch him in the face. <laughs> do you really? Yeah, I absolutely do. He's being fucking right, crazy right now. Uh, I would like to use my stunt to use somebody else's body. Al, you use your girlfriend's you use Retta. body. <laughs> Retta's next to you. You use her. I don't know what I need to roll here. I still don't understand how combat. So works. you roll roll defense, and then you use the physique of somebody next to you. Oh, I'm just gonna roll fight, I guess, and that's a three. Okay, nice, nice. We tied. Um, but then with. Who do you use? <laughs> oh, I'm not using that. Shield. That was just like the defense, oh, okay. like the normal. Just so turn into like right, one so... of those flat fights where you're like, dude, get the fuck. <laughs> All right, kid's gonna slam on the brakes and turn around and be like, "If you guys don't shut the, the fuck moment the up. car stops, Theo opens the door and grabs Rita. Are you guys getting out? But... I have child no, locks on. Rita. You guys can't get out. Just kidding. <laughs> Are you pushing them out? So you shove, you shove Retta out. I mean, I get out. I'm assuming Theo would have put her in and then followed in with her. He's just opening the door so she can get out and so she can get gone. Yeah, Al's in the backpack. He's in that third row <laughs> with Torek. Yeah, <laughs> um, I just love that now Kit has to make another drive roll and I threw a crowd of people. <laughs> I didn't um, Retta, Retta gets out and you get out with her T. Yeah, I'm confused. Okay, yeah. she's, are you staying in the like, car? She's no. in the in the middle seat and he's on the outside, so he's getting out so she he can pull her out yes. and then get back in. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, you disappear. Um, I will get a hold of you. You, be safe. And she gives you a kiss on the cheek. Uh, Theo and... just gets back in the car, shuts the door, and then smacks like the back of the driver's seat to tell <laughs> Kit to drive. I rolled a one. Yes! Slowly <laughs> drives away. <laughs> she waits till the door is locked. Are your seatbelts buckled? Oh. <laughs> Starts going the speed limit. Oh. Gotta be instant. Yeah, in like instant. something in gear isn't quite lining up, and like you're going to floor it, but it, you go like you're five accidentally miles an hour. in manual and not automatic, so you're forgetting to do your your manual shift. Uh -huh. Stalls out. Fucking power. Oh, yeah. yeah. When when Theo gets I'm gonna... back to the car, I want to grab him by the lapel and say, "This isn't fucking cowboys and Indians, all right? You don't just get to fucking do whatever you want, and it's gonna work out." Uh, Theo Putting puts the gun into, into his right rib. Let go of me. What was that? Tor, Tor can I have some of this sandwich? Because like, was that what the fuck is gun? happening? <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right. Sounds good. Yeah, I'll let go. Uh, Kit's gonna look in the rear view mirror and do the mom thing where her eyes get really big. <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't sell your outside of this car. I'm gonna kick all of your asses out. See, look, you just pissed mom off. Dork, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> I don't know, bro, but I'm here for this. <laughs> just so right now, it's... <laughs> It's a little bit after nine. Where are you headed? What are you doing? Picking up my dad, I'm assuming, but no. <laughs> the car is just silent. There's so much tension with everybody. <laughs> we got where gotta am I going? A, we gotta get a different vehicle. We can't we can't be driving around. This is the most conspicuous shit. Just okay. fleeing the freaking bar. We can't it's it's way too hot. Um, are we close to like a random parking lot that like, you know, like when people commute, they drop their cars off and then they commute or, or a sure, parking in, lot. Of, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. You're near downtown. <laughs> we have parking <laughs> garages we established. Yeah. Can okay, I plasti so dip this car? How quickly you, do you think you can plasti dip a car? <laughs> plasti, it comes in spray paint. Huh. Yeah, you can spray it. 
So we're going to go stop by Fantasy Walmart to grab spray paint. To take oh, the time. Time. Look, I got <laughs> so many thieves in this group right now. Let's I got go little hides everywhere. Cars. I got little hides everywhere. But I can, why I, take I, longer? He's concerned use... because the last time he tried to steal a car, it did not go well for him. <laughs> I have hides everywhere. All right. Um. Well, Kit's we just can... gonna drive to a third, the like third level, so it's not like you know <laughs> bottom floor, and then just find uh -huh. another large vehicle, and she's going to motion to Al to go break into the car. <sighs> Theo texts the one guy that gave him the car, and it just drops the pin location. <laughs> Nothing else. <laughs> you get right. like an invoice immediately sent to your phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's like, okay. Is there surcharges on it? all of them i i theo just responds back i'll see you in court <laughs> trash human oh. <laughs> nothing happened to the car that's ridiculous hero of the little people all right all theo right. maxwell i guess i'm trying to break into this car all right burgly baby oh that's not good uh let's say oh is there anything i can can uh i'll i'll can i invoke con artist that's not really mm, this isn't a con that's not really um, uh, unfortunately um it's a two it's not terrible it's not good uh yeah you're you're like how are you breaking in by the way um with a uh very seems like slim gems yeah well like the actual like carjacking slim jim it's like yeah. a little plastic yeah. yeah i'll just try to pop the lock that way so you're you're getting close you can feel you're 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 almost there but it's not quite working if anybody wanted to help I hate when that happens uh i can because i'm going to do the aspect uh anything you can do i can do better <laughs> <laughs> how many fate points do you have left <laughs> Uh, I used three. That was my third, so that's it. I'm out. Oh, because you took one. a new stunt? Uh-huh. Okay, so you start with three instead of four? Mm. I always forget. I need to, like, put in the bottom of your you, cups you how many four, you Do you have three stunts or four stunts, Kit? Three. Three. Then you should have four. Oh, so you start with that. Because everybody started with four now, since you oh, leveled up. I... I have I have a stunt the I have making useful things I can break in. Yeah. Okay. While well, this is happening, Theo is just pacing the parking garage. I Meanwhile, I'm over here with five fate points and I can't use any of them. Okay. Um. 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 I'm rolling you crafts. Two. Three. You should have. Three. I only have two stunts. Oh. Yeah. I rolled a seven on crafts. Nice. <laughs> okay. So you Fucking take the slim the Jimmy key. You take the slim jim out of his hands and he just like bend it a you little. maneuver it. Yeah, bend it a little bit. Um, like bite off a chunk where you saw it was getting caught, and you just pop pop one easy motion. That's embarrassing. Look, I just got here. What the fuck is going on? You throw me in a car, you tell me to steal another car. Circan walks around waiting to get in shotgun. I have to still have to get this shit started, so... Do you want me to run another crafts? No, I'm gonna say with all that really great stellar roll... Um, okay. You you got in, and you're just over this shit. You get down, you pull out the module underneath, and within a matter of 30 seconds, this thing... <laughs> pink underglow. Okay. Buckle up for safety. All right. Uh, where are we actually going? Are we going to pick up my father? Are we going to the greenhouse? Okay. I'm I'm looking only at uh, Waylon at this point because everyone else is being a bossy. So I'm looking at <laughs> Yeah. Um, I'll I'll just like I'll be like yeah. Good work. Um, we can proceed as uh, as planned now. It got way too hot back there. And again, what the... What fucking... I've been gone literally for like 16 hours. 
if they uh, we, we'll explain it not on the even way. yeah we'll explain it on the way and then while you're driving there we explain it done <laughs> we did it yeah, we right caught him up. you're caught up caught him up beautiful See, is there anything you don't that? tell him like on purpose don't tell him no, no, no. We'll, we'll tell them the whole okay, thing. Okay. I, I don't see why not. Cool. To so clarify, Kit, Orc is in the car with us. Yeah, in the back, just licking his fingers at this point, wiping the crumbs off of his shirt. to eat a sandwich. Jeez. Half you haven't had a Jerry's. Well, a lot has been going on. It. A lot I'm has been going it. on, so he's like... Mm -hmm. uh, well, Theo is going to text Denton to see if Molly got home safe. You get... Roger Boss made it inside. Uh, and Shannon. I'm just going to respond back to meet us at the greenhouse. So again, the greenhouses are an entire district. I don't know where we're going, so I just need him okay. in the district. Okay. Um, Kit, the address, strangely enough, that your father gave you um, is as you're headed towards that address, you're headed in the direction of the greenhouses. And it seems to be there's a cafe in the greenhouses district that he was meant to met, meet you. Okay. As we're driving, Theo turns to Wayland. Uh, I'm sorry for pulling a gun on you. Uh, uh, next time you point a gun at me, I hope that uh, you're prepared to use it. That's, that's fair. And I just like coldly turn away. Uh, eek! So you're rolling up to the greenhouse district and again, much more peaceful than it is down in the prism square. Um, with the exception that you're noticing a bit more light guard activity in the area than maybe normal. Um, there's extra cars parked on, on the streets on the side. There's just extra officers kind of roaming the streets, um, just looking kind of vigilant. And as you come in a park up to, there's a cafe called The Green Stem. And it's directly across from one of the large greenhouses. What do you do? It's about quarter to 10. Wayland just had, uh, I left my keys in my other jacket moment. Um, the duffel bag with my hook and with uh, my like other outfit is probably in the car that just drove to Molly's house. No, you stashed it. Remember when you were running from the light guard last episode, you wanted to look more inc inconspicuous. So you hid in a shed, ditched your hook, left it That's there. Right. Oh, and that's right. Yeah, maybe, about that. and the mask, I believe. The mask, the mask is pocketable. That's easy enough. But Wayland yeah, stows mask, hand, and coat in spare shed. That's what I wrote. That's right. Okay, chill. So yeah, those you things still are still got in a shed to go back and get it. Sure, you do have an hour to go get it. Um, speaking of having an hour, there's a lot going on around here as far as wee woos <laughs> that's intentional that's actually um, intentional you know that from the plan that we told you <laughs> yeah <laughs> what what do you guys want me to post up somewhere or <clears throat> like yeah, we should uh, sir, can you give i understand you made this without me work. yeah i understand you guys made this without me so like what do you need from me the uh, the quick part of the plan that you would be most likely to be involved in is this trade for uh, Nan for Tobias that's happening in one of the greenhouses. It's a specific greenhouse that Haven and I bury evidence in, essentially, until it can be disposed of permanently. And so I would be able to direct you to which greenhouse that is, and you could scout and and all that. <laughs> Go that way. Okay. Make sure that uh, watch out for any of Gold's people. So if we park, and then I'm, they they give me the information like that. All right, I'm gonna go see what the hell's going on over there. 
um, before you leave, I'm going to, I'm going to hand you this phone that I, I lifted from Theo's place and I don't know how to use it. So I'm just gonna be like, uh, put your contact information in here, please. <laughs> <laughs> like fucking boomer. <laughs> is there something worse than a boomer? I'm a fossil. <laughs> Wayland is the oldest one out of all of us, right? Yeah. yeah. I have no idea how old Sirkin is. Sirkin is 58. Yeah, I'd say Sirkin is close. Okay. We're in we're in high school range, I think. Yeah, we're okay. contemporaries. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, cool. Uh, yeah, so, uh, uh, again, I don't know how to use it, but I will click around until it makes sense before I press the green button. <laughs> okay, and you guys are still just posted outside the green stem? Um, yeah, I guess if... If um if we've already picked up Tobias, then I actually have more than I've got four hours to go and grab my equipment. I mean, you That's haven't two. seen Tobias. You're outside one the cafe that he's. Yeah, but I'm saying like it's one o'clock. Oh, okay. And we got to do the thing. So I'm I'm just I right. guess I'm just saying that out loud for logistic purposes. Mm -hmm. I have no other plans but to wait for Tobias and then do this hostage exchange. Sames. I'm I'm just gonna. I'm not staying in the car with these guys. Fuck that. <laughs> I at, look, after having what happened to us, and then to get thrown into this off the cuff. Nah. Um. All right. I'm gonna go. It, you said it's this way, and I'm just gonna start making my way over there and be like, I'll call you guys if there's anything going on. Perfect. So you're going to yeah, scope I out will the answer. conservatory. Yes. So wherever okay. that meeting is at, at one, I'm going to skirt around and then find a nice little spot so I can see like the best like entrance exit to see if there's any like uh, tomfoolery going on. Okay. Or a possible trap. So you're headed that direction. Anybody going inside the green stem? Absolutely. I... No, you're staying in the car. <laughs> if he's going in, I'm going in. Yes, everyone is staying in the car. <clears throat> if unless you want to draw more attention to the situation, stay in the car. She can be bossy, but we're not allowed to be bossy. That doesn't seem fair. Fine. <clears throat> As I... Would you like would you like to at least make it to the greenhouses before the gold family finds you? No, I'd like to kill them before the greenhouses. Personally. <laughs> There's right. a I'm, lot of problems right now, uh, actually. At this so, point, it's all uh, literally all of our problems. Sirkin's phone lights up. He's getting a call back from Vox. So he excuses himself from the car and goes out to... <laughs> and then I, I, that, that's when I'll be like, hey, I'll be like, hey, um, Theo, I need to, I need to be let out. <laughs> uh, kid's gonna get out. Kid's gonna get out of the car to go get her dad. But she opens the trunk and motions for Al to exit. Oh, I gotta crawl out the back. Climb out the back. Ah! As he starts door. crawling over the seat, Theo opens the car door to get out. <laughs> uh, Theo's just going to pull right, out so... his phone and work on cases. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Kit, you enter the green stem. Mm -hmm. uh, and it, it looks almost like you would expect it to. It's a lot of uh, stained and raw wood. Um there is kind of a large bar at one end, but it's more for coffees and teas. Mm -hmm. um, there are some, a few tables, and in one corner, there's even a, a small stage where you might think someone might be doing some open mic night or slam poetry or <laughs> just singing. Um, but currently, there's there's not anybody h here except for um, the person at the cafe bar. Um, and this is a, a slender female individual. Um, she's actually Raptoran. So she's got the kind of skin folds between her arms and her torso. And a, an elongated face a little bit. Um, and a smooth head on top. And her their eyes are a little larger than uh, a full human would be. Um but she's got some tattoos 
uh, on her wings and on her arms. Hey, doll, what can I get you? Hey, um, waiting for someone, but uh, can I have mm, how many? One, two, three, five black coffees, please. Oh, sure. Just uh, just grinded some fresh beans. You'll you'll love it. It's it's a dark roast. It's really nutty. It's really nice. Perfect. As long as it's smooth going down, I'm more of a latte girl myself. But I thought I'd make it easy on you. And as she's um making these coffees, that's a it's a lot for one person. Are you waiting for somebody? Oh, just a late night study group. Um, you're still wearing the beanie, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, she makes the coffees, comes back to the bar, and goes like steps down by the cash register, the credit register. That'd be ten credits. Um, and she hit, pulls the cash out. Uh, I'm waiting for a, a a gentleman. Has anyone else stopped in? That might fit that bill. Late 40s. Um, curly hmm. red hair. Hmm. And uh, may I ask who's asking? And at this point, her demeanor kind of shifts. And she puts her arms on the table. And you can see her fingers are a little sharper. She's almost got like talons as she's yeah tapping her her talons on the cafe bar mm. if you want you can roll an insight check to understand okay okay um, um okay should have let us come in oh, shh. <laughs> what are these the consequences of my own actions three <laughs> Three. Mm -hmm. She's giving you n not a uh, threatening, but more of a protecting. Okay. Kind of. Vibe. I was wondering if she if she was like, I don't know. Um, okay. Um, and she's at this point just gonna slide off her beanie. Um, my dad. It, I'm looking for my dad. And you kind of see this sigh of relief. <sighs> yeah, give me a sec. And she crosses over to an adjacent wall. And if you look closely, you can see her kind of dip her finger in a small pouch and create an eye shape on the wall. And it gives a faint glow of an eye with an X through it. And a panel in the wall <clears throat> opens up. You have a guest. And Tobias <coughs> exits. He's uh, he, He's got a change of clothes. He looks clean. Um, he's now got a backpack. Oh, he had a backpack before, but um, it looks a little full fuller than it was. And... Uh, Thanks, Juju. <sighs> I knew this would be a safe space. And he crosses over to you. I can't tell you how good it is to see you. Gives you a big hug. I, when I didn't see you in here, I, I won't lie. I was a little afraid for a little bit. <laughs> um. Have you had a boring day, I hope? Is she frozen? Looks like it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh. 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 Almost. Hey, we're, we're all back. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay. okay. Um, what was the last thing you heard? 
Um, I was talking. The last thing I heard was we were my dad and I were talking about. He said how good it was to see me. Okay. Um, and I said that I was a little afraid when he didn't show up, when I didn't see him at first, um, that I was afraid that something had happened. And I nodded at the woman and said, thank you. I appreciate it. And I slip, you know, some credits into her tip jar. Thanks, doll. You've had a boring day, I hope. <laughs> <sighs> and she like puts her hand on her dad's shoulder after all of this is over <laughs> let's go on vacation <laughs> and she grabs like the the like the carrier of coffees and nods at the woman one more time and walks out the front and as he's like eyeing how many coffees and walking out you're not alone, I take it. Nope. And that's the only way that this is going to work. And before you guys meet the dad, we're going to end tonight's episode. There we go. Whew. Everybody gets to meet Tobias tomorrow. <laughs> you have, you've already, Sir met, Sirkin's already met my dad. Yeah. We go and away. Leo is so delayed. I can't wait to get some freaking technical upgrades. The two nerds. Right. Yoke me out. Hell they could yeah. Probably, they could probably build you a new hook hand right here. You've got hours. Yeah. Theo knows a guy. Um, don't worry. I'm so proud of you for two successful non lethal dates in <laughs> the hornet's nest of the golds. Yeah. I was very conflicted on how to play those. I am a. I, I'm very, very lucky that Bozer didn't compel my gambling addiction when I was that close to the casino. Because <laughs> he forgot. <laughs> I was, I was emotionally preparing for that consequence. I forgot <laughs> a little bit. But compels season two. Very, very. I local. know you're right. Often because I don't need to. Like you guys compel yourselves almost, That's or the, the, the fate compels you and fuck shit up on its own. Um, <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to pull out one more thread. Trouble is, it's just an aspect. Anything? Oh, okay, so it's just a personality. No, it's an right? aspect. Oh. But as you reach milestones, um, which I would say you guys have reached um, a minor milestone, so feel free to do oh, any yeah. of those updates before next episode. Um, cool. But you can, you can rename a trouble if it needs to better suit where your character is at. Maybe you're, you've are you grown, maybe it's shifted, um, but you can rename any of the aspects as long as it's not your high concept with this minor milestone. Or you can shift some skills points around. Uh, we'll do that off stream. But wow, T, you are so good at hurting people with your words. <laughs> <laughs> Against the one guy, that came from a very deep place and I'm gonna need to explore that off screen. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. As like, the words I'm... as the words were coming out of my mouth, like in my head, I was like, "This is coming from somewhere." <laughs> I'm sending this clip to my therapist from BetterHelp. Uh, <laughs> What's this mean? Sponsor us so I can afford to use you. <laughs> <laughs> But y'all, thank you so much for joining us for episode 18 of Cloudscape. This has been so much fun. This story is just getting crazier and crazier. I can't wait to find out what's going to happen next. Uh, make sure you tune in on Wednesdays for Tea Stream, where you geek out, vibe out, play some games, do some painting when your painting doesn't suck. Not your painting, your paints. Um, and then and Mondays are. Doesn't suck. <laughs> and Mondays are your geek out sesh. Tune in to meet a brand new geek guest as we geek out with them over their amazingness uh but that's what we do come say hi on socials and if you'd like give us a little rating uh tell a friend about cloudscape that's the best way you can show some appreciation for this but madness do it on the internet so we can see yeah <laughs> otherwise we can't get the dopamine doesn't count correct <laughs> but until next time i am bozer i'm brett i'm josh i'm here i'm austin 
I'm T. And you just keep kicking out. Bye. Clapplebees. Ha, 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 ha.